Welcome to Crafty Adults. I'm Amanda, a librarian at Woodstock Public Library. Today for Crafty Adults, we are turning flowers and foliage from my garden into a vibrant work of art. Using the microwave technique in this video provides an easy, quick, and inexpensive way to press and dry flowers to enjoy year-round. To create your own dried flower art, you will need to gather flowers or foliage. Try to collect a variety of textures and colors. Mod Podge and a brush. I'm using a matte formula that will dry clear when used as a glue and sealant. Microwave safe dishes. You will need two dishes that provide a flat surface. I'm using two dinner plates and a heavy dish to use as a weight. I'm using a large glass measuring cup. Parchment paper. Your sheet should be two layers and large enough to cover the surface of your flat dishes. An art canvas or thick paper. Scissors to trim your flowers and foliage as needed. And lastly, you will also need access to a microwave. After gathering your items, you will need to create a microwave press. Begin by layering your parchment paper between your two flat dishes. Your flowers and foliage will go in between your two layers of paper, so make sure your paper completely covers the base of your dishes. Lastly, place your heavy dish on top to weigh it down. You're now ready to press and dry your flowers. Begin by choosing similar flowers to press and dry together. This will ensure a consistent result. If you have any flowers with thick tops, like the garden mums I'm using here, gently press to flatten the tops. Try to arrange your flowers so that they do not touch each other during the drying process. Once your flowers have been arranged in the press, place them in the microwave on 50% power for one minute increments. Check on your flowers as you go to make sure they do not burn. Small flowers like these mums will take about three to four minutes. Large flowers will take around six minutes total. You will know your flowers are ready when you can no longer feel any moisture and they are sturdy when handled. Repeat the pressing and drying process until you have pressed and dried all of your flowers and foliage. Then begin to arrange them on your canvas or paper. Once you are satisfied with your design, remove the flowers and foliage and use your Mod Podge to glue them into place. Let this layer of glue dry completely before adding another layer of Mod Podge to seal and protect your art. Your pressed and dried flower art is now ready to enjoy. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel, MyWPL, for other programs for kids and adults, including more crafty adults.